beautiful beach not far away I went to visit for a day Got covered with some gooey ooze That changed my DNA Now I try to act normal, keep my cool While other kids play after school I turn into a prehistoric hero Today on Dino Squad, when Velocity creates a herd of mutant Musasaurs, the Dino Squad must survive a night in the wilderness. Beautiful, beautiful bones of a past world. A world that never should have ended. Ready? Experiment 57A8 Delta. In an attempt to reanimate fossilized Apatosaurus bones, I am having it treated with a special gradient of primordial ooze. these fossils lack the vitality of viable tissue samples. We'll have to keep digging. <laughs> now that was funny. So pathetic. You want to know it's really pathetic? You guys teasing poor Rump. Maybe Buzz is right. Maybe we should cut Rump some slack. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, let's, let's do, do it again. again. <gasps> huh? <gasps> it looks like mutant sores. Four of them. That's deep in the wilderness of Baxter State Park. This is going to call for extra prep. That's a big area. There's no telling how long we'll be out there. This could require some camping. We'll need to be ready for anything. Hmm. Check out the Super Scout. What'd I tell you? He's got a list and he's checking it twice. Extra food, extra stove fuel. Didn't you guys pack anything? Give me a break. I don't need anything but my brains. And I don't need anything but my good looks and my excessive charm. Not bringing anything? Yeah, right. All of you, come with me now. <laughs> I went to load the dino tracker and found that the boys had already packed a few things. Well... It's Max's fault. He said we should pack some stuff. I didn't say pack everything you own. I'll thin it out. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Oh, is that backpack the only thing you're bringing? So pathetic. Okay. The way I read the initial satellite sweeps is that we have four different mutant source signals coming from different parts of a 200,000 acre wilderness. It's getting late. Best to set up camp. Get a good night's sleep and track down the four mutant source in the morning. You don't want to be messing around in the woods at night. Too easy to get lost or get hurt. So, what did you bring all this stuff for? 
You don't expect me to rough it, do you? Roughing it and looking good seldom go hand in hand. Looks like you picked a good campsite, Fiona. We should be fine for the night. Do you think it was safe leaving those three alone back there? It'll be fine. I can't imagine what kind of trouble they could get into. at us. Do you think we could just say, oops? That'll never work. Yeah, bad idea, Caruso. Um, oops? There is no oops about it. You fried everything. All my circuits, the dino tracker, the chiller, the spiller, everything. Ugh! It's, it's really dark. It's the woods at night, Buzz. It gets that way. But is it always this dark? I mean, this, this is really dark. What was that? Everybody stay calm. I'll, um, I'll check it out. Go, Dino! Guys, it was just a cute little screech owl. Hmm, scans are picking up four mutant sores. You too. Take the helicopter and retrieve these four mutants and bring them to the truck for study. They may prove useful. You asleep? You kidding me? It's too dark to sleep. I'm freaked out of my mind. I keep thinking about all the things out there. I mean, sure, this time turned out to be some little screech owl. But what if it wasn't? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Wait a minute. We could just go dino, and we'd be safe. Would we? What if it's a mutant sore that's so huge and horrible that we can't protect ourselves from it even in dino mode? <clears throat> or, or... Or even worse, what if it was some kind of mutant sore that was really small and it crawled in your ear and got inside your brain and took over or ate it? No amount of going dino would save you from that. My ear. Not my ear. No. I don't want my brain eaten. Can't sleep. Might as well fix the dino SUV. like it's right on top of us. Listen, it's right here in camp, whatever it is. What if it's invisible? It can't be invisible, can it? That's it! I am so out of here! Throwing invisible monsters at us, it's just too much! Where are you going? Back to civilization! No shower, no hair dryers, invisible monsters! I've had enough of this creepy wilderness! It's... it's... it's so dark! Caruso, wait! 
Caruso? Caruso. Can't see anything. Go Dino! Go Dino! Buzz? Is that you? That does it. Go Dino! Buzz, you out there? Yeah, I'm here, but I'm not alone. It's out here too, whatever it is. I hear it too. It's getting closer. I'm taking to the air. It's got me, Caruso. It's got me and it's huge. Run, Caruso, run. Not sure. I think we're under attack. It's got boys and it's after me. Run! Wait for me, Caruso. Max, do you hear anything? I, I hear something. I don't know. I hear its heartbeat. No, wait. It's my heartbeat. <laughs> I'm hearing my own heartbeat. I don't hear anything in the woods. Okay, everybody just relax. I don't think there's anything out there. Guys? Guys? Guys, where are you? It's got me, help. It's got my wings all twisted and won't let go. <laughs> Guys, there's nothing there. We're just freaking ourselves out. The first thing you don't want to do is panic. You really need to keep your wits about you, especially in the woods or the wilderness. Panic and that's when accidents happen. That's when people get hurt. Okay, that was just stupid. There was no monster. I was just tangled up in some tree branches. I moved around so much I got my wings caught. Phew. You hear that? Buzz is fine. Listen, you're panicking. And when you panic, you get hurt. There's no monster. Yeah, guys, I'm fine. There's no monster. We were freaking each other out, just like Max said. Ooh, that's a long way down. Too true. Too close. I picked up five new signals. I'm convinced it's those perfect dinosaurs. I'm going after them. Bring those mutant saws to the truck. 
secure them, and find me. I'm going to capture at least one of those perfect dinosaurs. I gotta tell you, nothing was more frightening than almost running off that cliff. Sorry we got so scared, Max. Nah, don't be sorry. I was scared too. We all were. Courage isn't the lack of fear, guys. It's recognizing fear for what it is. Fear is fear. It's natural. But there's a difference between healthy fear and unhealthy fear. Healthy fear is the painful emotion caused by impending danger, a state of alarm that can drive our adrenaline and awareness and can make us react in a way that just might save our life. It's an instinct that has helped us survive as a species. But unhealthy fear is a dread or anxiety that comes from the imagination of something that isn't there. This can cause us all sorts of problems, like making us panic, act carelessly, and possibly hurt ourselves or others in the process. You have to first of all make a judgment call. Is what you're experiencing healthy fear or unhealthy fear? The key is to do a reality check. Be aware of the situation you're in. That fear you're feeling, is it based on a real danger or is it based on your imagination? Is your imagination creating and fueling the fear? If it's real danger, then use the fear to help you get out of that danger. If it's imagined, then take deep breaths, focus on the moment, and try to understand what it is you're imagining, and why. All fixed. And not a moment too soon, look! <gasps> you thinking what I'm thinking? You guys get the Dino Tracker out of here and go get those mutant zords. Caruso and I will take care of Velocity. This was the location. Hmm. Come free me! Immediately! Special delivery. Thanks, Buzz. I'll chill him. And I'll spill him. Great job, Buzz! Hey, what can I say? Welcome to the friendly dino skies. Let's go pick up our other two heroes. What do you think, Max? Did Velocity's men experience healthy fear or unhealthy fear when you roared right in their ear? Um, a little of both, I suspect. I wasn't going to hurt them, but they didn't know that.
Where's Rump? Maybe we ought to apologize to him for scaring him with that jack-in-the-box. I think that means no apology necessary. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in, in the Dino Squad. You don't have to be a Dino Squad hero to help save the Earth. Be cool. Reduce, reuse, recycle. That changed my DNA. Now I try to act normal, keep my cool. While other kids play after school, I turn into a prehistoric hero. I'm in.